does Little Big Planet have a timeline? In today's video, we'll be figuring out where all the games in Little Big Planet belong. Just a reminder that this is my opinion, so none of this is actually official. But anyways, let's get started. The very first thing we'll add to our timeline is Sackboy's Prehistoric Moves. It's a very underrated game and it's about prehistoric stuff, which is why we'll be adding it to the very beginning of our chronological order. The next thing we're going to add to our timeline is something that I didn't even know existed until a few days ago. And that thing is a comic book called Sackboy A Big Adventure The Gathering Storm. It's not really much important, it's just Scarlet's origin from Sackboy A Big Adventure. And speaking about Sackboy A Big Adventure, it's actually next on our timeline. Most people argue whether this game is a sequel, prequel, or even part of the series at all. In my opinion, I think it's a prequel, and you'll see why in a bit. Next in the timeline, we have Little Big Planet 1. And if you haven't noticed, the other games don't even have create mode or online mode, which basically gives us the idea that it's literally just been invented. Another thing I'd like to point out is the reason why it said that Sackboy A Big Adventure is a prequel is because in the end of the game, you become a knitted knight. And then the next thing you know, you go off to the gardens in Little Big Plant 1. And the gardens is kind of related to knight stuff and medieval stuff. Which is why I think Sackboy A Big Adventure is a prequel. Now, the next game has actually been confirmed to be a sequel. And if you don't know what that game is, have you guessed it? It's a little bit plant PSP. That game has been confirmed to be a sequel because the plot is that Sackboy goes out on a vacation after defeating the Collector. And that's basically it. Oh, and that game also has the god known as Sackman. As you expected, the next game is Little Big Planet 2. There's really not much explaining to do, so let's move on. I present to you your part! video almost got cancelled just because of this one scene. But luckily one of my friends helped me find a solution. And that solution is that after this cutscene we see Sackboy fly around in his pod, but we never really see what happens to him after that. We do know he returns, but we don't know how long it took him to return. What I'm saying is basically that maybe something wrong happened while he was flying and it made him time travel back to Sackboy's prehistoric moves. This explains the description of prehistoric paradise and why Sackboy gets a pot out of nowhere in literally every Little Big Planet game. But now that we figured out what happened, we still need to find out who caused it. Now our main suspect would be the Negativitron, but if I'll be honest, he doesn't really have the ability to make people time travel. He either just sucks you into his mouth and kills you, or just makes you turn evil somehow. But there is someone who was near Sackboy during that time, and someone who has the right technology, the ability to make wormholes, and was even planned to be the main villain of Little Big Planet 2 as well. Avalon. <laughs> Avalon left minutes before Sackboy did. He created science and made a wormhole in Little Big Plant carding. He was also planned to be the main Little Big Plant 2 villain, but was scrapped. And there's still prints of it being left behind. For example, Hagen bought them throwing darts at him. And the famous sticker we all know. So what did we learn from that theory? that Sackboy's prehistoric moves never existed and there's an alternate timeline where Sackboy never had his pod until Little Big Plant 2 and where Avalon literally sucks him in a wormhole and takes him to Sackboy's prehistoric moves and he gets his timeline fixed. Well, that was the most boring theory I've ever told. Anyways. Let's continue the chronological order. So next up is the Move Pack, which is a DLC from Little Big Plant 2. 
The only reason I'm including it is because Victoria lives in it, and because it's been confirmed that the Cakeling or whatever it's called was actually one of Negativitron's um, mutated creations. But yeah. Anyways, the next ones are um, Little Big Plant PS Vita and Little Big Plant Carding. They don't really have much connection except Little Big Plant Carding does reference the Negativitron two times. And then we have Little Big Plant 3, where Sackboy gets freaking kidnapped to another planet and meets what I suppose is three other knitted knights. I'm not I'm not sure. But anyways, in the end of the game they go off into some kind of dimension and that dimension is actually the journey home which is next. And it's the final thing in our timeline. Well, this is my opinion on what the chronological order could be. From Sackboy saving his townsfolk to saving the whole galaxy and returning back to Craftworld where he belongs. I hope you enjoyed this six minute long video and make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.